this is the second time I'm making this video because I begin to start to tell the truth of what's actually occurred here. And I can't put that much truth in the video because you'll be punished if you tell people the truth of what's happened to you because of medical stuff. So I'm going to try this again. I think this has been my heart all along. I've gradually lost strength throughout the years. Like switching my lawnmower to a smaller lawnmower because I couldn't manage anymore. I used to bike and jog twice a day, miles a day. And go nonstop as a spouse, as a, a mom, gardening and loads of different activities and biking and running and do hours of yard work a day. I used to go nonstop, gradually lost strength, downgraded my, you know, yard tools to tiny little tools because I couldn't manage anymore. I was losing my strength for some reason. I think the epidural, the epi epidural injury years ago really, really took a lot out of me. And I was never up to par again after that. And the drugs long term, being on antidepressants and and benzodiazepines and sleeping pills for 40 years, I wish. And I was, you know, uneducated, didn't know anything, was told they were safe. I think those drugs long term were harming my heart. And then the benzo withdrawal absolutely injured my heart and made matters much, much worse. And I really feel it's been my heart the whole time and just continual misdiagnosing, patient profiling, minimizing. I think when they see that you're on antidepressants or benzodiazepines, they think you have less credibility and they think you dramatize and exaggerate. I've lost almost everything here. Relationships, job, full-time job, part-time job, my car, my health, my mobility. There's not much left to lose. I've got my house. That's it. And I'm in financial ruin because I couldn't get medical help. So I think it's my heart. It's hard to breathe. Even I had severe apnea. None of them would believe that. These doctors would not believe me. Nobody would believe me. I was stopping breathing 54 times an hour. And I was left in that condition for seven months because nobody believed me. I was tortured. So, you know, even with the CPAP for a year, I'm getting up and peeing a dozen times at night. I can't breathe laying down. There's fluid in my feet. I feel like I'm suffocating. I have no strength. I can't go up and down stairs. My house hasn't been cleaned in, in like four years. I don't sleep. I sleep one to two hours. That's all indication of serious heart issues. How did no one figure that out? And again and again and again, I've said, I think it's my heart. Can you give me an, a diuretic? No, I can't. Cardiologist ruled out heart issues. I, and I called back and I said, I can't do this anymore. I called the cardiologist. I said, I can't do this anymore. I cannot function anymore. I'm going to end up taking my life because I can't breathe. I don't think it's a breathing issue. I think it's the heart. 
So I'm going for a MIBI tomorrow morning, uh, another heart test. And I'm afraid, I'm terrified it's going to induce a heart attack or a stroke. I'm terrified. I have no one to go with me. I'm so freaking angry that it's gotten this far. It's gotten this far. It's so hard to breathe. My chest hurts all the time. If it's not the heart, I then I'm done. If it's not the heart, then it's the Chiari, my brain condition. And then there's there's no help. If it's the Chiari, there's no help here. I really feel like all of this has happened because I couldn't get a proper diagnosis. I'm so angry and exasperated and frustrated. I'm in this body that can't do anything. There's no clean laundry in this house. Dishes are stacked up to the ceiling. I have no strength, no energy. So now I'm, I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified to go to the heart test. But I'm now praying to God it's my heart because there are no other options. I don't sleep. My hair is falling right out in my hands. Like, like you don't even, it's just sliding right out. Same with my eyebrows. And my teeth are breaking. Everything's in pain. I think it's my heart. I have to wash my hair today because I have to go to the hospital tomorrow. My hair is disgusting. I just got out of bed. I have zero energy. Zero. There's nothing left of me. And my chest hurts and it's hard to breathe. And I just got up. My spine hurts. My neck hurts. <sighs> God, I'm just so finished. If it's not the heart, then I'm done. I'm so angry that nothing can be properly diagnosed. I pray it's my heart. I pray it's my heart because I'm done. If it's my heart, maybe they can help me.